In this episode, let's talk about copy function in PowerFX. Sometimes we have a use case where we have email or URL type of field and we need to provide this kind of copy to clipboard functionality to our end user. So at that time, copy function helpful to us. So how does it work? Let's have a look. Here I just added one icon. Now let's say if I want to copy this email, then simply I need to use copy as a PowerFX expression and inside the copy I need to provide the text box. So let's say for this one the text box ID is txt email. So let's provide here txt email dot text and that's it. Now let's taste this feature. So I am just trying to add my email address and now I am clicking on this copied button and as soon as it's copied we can simply paste it to anywhere so let's say this is the blank text box so i'm pasting it over here similar way let's say if i want to paste it any browser window or any notepad or anywhere it will work so basically it will copy that thing to the clipboard this feature is helpful for url type of field as well when you can directly copy the url and paste it also to make it more interactive let's do one more thing after this copy, let's provide a notification that copied successfully. So I just provided this type of notification. Now let's have a look. Let me copy this and it is showing me copied successfully to clipboard. And now if I remove it and paste it, it will looking like this. Amazing, right? Now let me talk about one more use case. Let's say if you want to provide a flexibility to user to copy multiple fields together, then you can concatenate those operation as well. So let's say for employee name and department, I want to copy at a one go. So simply I can have a copy button over here and let's use a function copy. And to concatenate the thing, we know that as per the string interpolation, we need to use dollar and then double quote and first let's copy the id of this one which is text emp name dot text then one more curly braces and let's add this id so let's provide that combo box id dot selected dot name and now let's taste it so i'm clicking on this copy and now let's paste it over here so it is looking like this even if i'm changing some value from here it will also work so i'm copying again and let's paste it one more time so it is looking like this if i need the department in the bracket then i can do something like this i can add some sort of brackets and same way let me provide the notification after that let me taste now i'm just clicking on copy and now i'm removing this and pasting it so it is showing me the bracket like this if I change it, if I copy it and paste it, it is working absolutely fine. So this is how the copy function in PowerFX will work. Hope this video helps you and values your time. Looking for any training or consultation? The website link is available on the channel cover homepage. And don't forget to follow me on my other social media handle like Twitter and Instagram. And don't forget to follow my another channel Digital Thruvin where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform. With this, this is Thruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.